people, it's another day on Woman to Woman with the adorable Adesuwa Osa Owage. And of course, I have my crew in the house. Princess Bola Akalame is here with me. Hello, Bola. You look good. Thank you. You too. Okay. I also have Doris Unyechi Ube from my usual crew. What the girl? Thank you. Thank you're you for looking having good. Me. This is your class. You go dash me before you come out to. Okay, no problem. All right, people. So today we want to look at um, emotional problem with a woman, emotional abuse. People see physical abuse on women and they talk because, of course, if you hit a woman hard, if you slap on her face, you will get a five fingers there. She can prove that, okay, I'm being abused emotion, um, physically. But emotional abuse, a lot of women suffer emotional abuse and nothing or little is being done about it. Before we go on, what do you feel emotional abuse entails, Doris? Okay. Emotional abuse has to do with a kind of behavior said or applied to someone to deliberately hurt the person's feelings. Mm. Yeah, and um, it's not a very good um, instrument to use. It affects the mental state of the victim so hard that um, it can even make the person to fall into depression. Mm. If um, care is not taken, and um, it keeps, it's very hurtful. It's a dangerous thing. It's, an, it's a dangerous weapon to mm. use against someone. Okay. And it, it, you hardly prove evidence of that. Of emotional yes, abuse. yes. If you if you really want to report, um, that's why I always encourage people to um, be able to identify this emotional abuse or torture and um, be able to know the basic steps that we'll discuss here mm. to take for them to be able to um, come out of that problem. All right, Bola, how do you identify a woman who is, who is suffering from emotional abuse, a woman who is being abused emotionally? How do you identify such a woman? Because most women will not talk. Yes, uh, first of all, there are those people, those kind of persons, they are mostly quiet because they are being downcast. Their mindset, they are doing, and they get easily angry. Those kind of people. And those kind of people, they are this person, when you are talking, they will just be looking at you. They will tell you, you don't know what I'm passing through. Mm. They are not happy. They are not happy people. They are these people. They are fragile. They get angry all the time. With just a little thing. Because a lot it's is in their, their mind. mind. Most times they believe that even when they say it out, who oh, will believe them? Mm. Because we are, we are not talking about physical abuse here. We are At talking all. about emotional. There's no evidence of beating or anything. This is something that maybe, for instance, the husband went out, comes in any time she lies, insults the woman, mm. talk to her any time she he likes. And most often, something that is most painful in our life will be using it to, to be to insult. Her. Yes. And those things hurt that woman. You understand? So, as at that time, if that woman is not a violent type, she will be calm. But with a little thing, she gets upset. Most, I think I heard, uh, watch or saw something recently on, on newspaper that a, a man wants to sleep with the wife. The wife. Oh, yeah. And at the end of the day, because the, the woman maybe is angry or is emotional, deray, or something is happening within her, she, she, you know, she, she refused her husband. And at the end of the day, the man took her phone, smashed it, 
You understand? Because of the anger within, because of the emotional trauma that woman has been through, she has to use something otherwise, and which is wrong. You understand? But before a woman okay, can... the story of that woman that stabbed the husband. Yes, because, to uh, you know, to yes. stab the husband. You know, that kind of person, when you come close to that kind of person and you ask her, what is happening? Why do you... You, she will tell you a whole lot of stories. Things but, that but, but, but unfortunately, the yes. women don't talk when they are suffering this emotional You know why? Nobody wants to listen. The society believes that men are always right. Especially in the issue of a, a man comes home every night drunk and you know he wants to sleep with you every night and then. And you go out there and you want to complain to any who do you want to complain to? That, that your husband comes home every time and said he wants to sleep and uh, what is there? He's your husband, you should sleep with you know him. You know, you can't complain, you can't tell anybody you can't say that, that kind of thing. Even when you're but tired. It's really affecting you. Even mm. sometimes the man comes home raping you when, even when you are not your body is not there to do it, even when you are sick inside you. But because he's drunk and he wants to do it. He just do it. But inside that woman, she's not happy. Can, can a man rape his wife? Of course, but in a, in a in actual fact, they will tell you that a man cannot rape, you know, when there is no mutual understanding between the man and the, and the woman. woman. I think we can call it rape because at least with the concept of the woman, even the man will not enjoy it. You are doing something and you, are, you know you are just doing it. But when the mind of the woman is there, and the mind of the man is here. The Lord will continue growing, even with that thing that you people are doing. So forcing a woman is, is not, it's not, it's not a right thing to do. At least, even before you can say you want to sleep with your wife, you must touch your wife. You must say a sweet thing. You to must sugarcoat your, your wife. <laughs> even if your wife is not a girlfriend, but you just, you know, to, you know, to, to bring, you know, this you uniqueness must, and uh, you must, love. You must, you must do all that with your wife. You, yes. you understand? Mm -hmm. Before you need the two of you will enjoy that thing you people are doing. But that thing a man and wife does all the time, is it supposed to be every day? Can't the woman, is, is it impossible for the woman to refuse? Can't the woman say, ah, Oga, I beg. There is nothing in this it. world that you will not be tired of. Sometimes you get tired. Maybe sometimes because of something that you are out there coming in with a lot of things, they believe that you don't have problems. It's only men that have yeah, problems. Problem. No, a lot of women are doing business. They are doing on their, in their working places. They have a lot of challenges mm -hmm. and all of that. Coming home and you want to do that kind of thing. Ah, honey, I'm tired. I can't do even instead of that man to understand the woman, she will start abusing the woman, he say insulting the woman. The woman. You know, and all, all of that. Oh, so, uh, like uh, that. Doris, I want to come to you now. Women suffer a lot emotionally. But talking about it to other persons is usually a problem because they do not know the right person to talk to. All right? It, and, and sometimes people don't understand what a woman suffers. And even the woman sometimes don't even understand herself because she cannot narrate the story. What do you narrate it to do? Ask you, uh, uh, abusing you, okay? You that is married to one big man or the other. Your husband is rich. You are enjoying money. Why you are, you are okay. Why are you, Why are you complaining? complaining? You have a job. Why are you complaining? Why shouldn't a woman complain? A man has like 10, 20, 30 side chicks. You don't know the emotional strain you're causing on that woman? But they don't see it as anything. They say, hey, what do you concern you? After all, the man is taking care of you. Yeah. You know, and uh, like Bola said, verbal abuse. Mm. Oh, some men can abuse for Africa. Oh. Mm. Some would carry chair and <laughs> sit down and abuse a, a woman they call wife. Right. I heard somebody say one time that, look, I'm not going to beat you. But you see this in my mouth. I will mean, use you. it to chop you. <laughs> You know, and truly the man will just sit down and then I mean, you know, abuse the wife, and the I'm woman can't do tell anything. You that thing that will yes, make it that's sad. Yes, and then the men that flaunt their girlfriends in front of their wives. Mm, emotional. Yes. You don't know what emotional pain you're causing to the woman. And then there are some men who have decided that they will not divorce their wives, mm. neither will they sleep with the woman, neither will they eat food from that woman. What are you keeping that woman for? Is that not emotional abuse? Now, a woman who is going through all of this, where should that woman go to? to you know, last week we had an edition whether I had to go to a pastor or not to go to a pastor. Okay, um, you understand that um, 
emotional abuse is um, being used to exercise control and manipulate the victim. Mm. And it, it does not necessarily mean that it's the man that normally um, does that. Women too the, also emotionally abuse, us. abuse, verbally or emotionally abuse their partner or their husbands too. It's both ways. It both, it's, it's both ways. But the thing is that emotional abuse and um, um, verbal abuse, I see them as siblings. Okay, they are brothers and sisters. They are brothers and sisters. But emotional abuse is more dangerous okay. because it's a silent weapon or instrument used to change you from whom you are to a different thing. Because we are talking about control. Someone is in control, in total control of what you do. Mm. Someone is manipulating you. You begin to see yourself from the as usual less person, a, less a human being, less a human being, to fit into what that person actually wants, which you will end up not getting, mm. because the person cannot really come specific to tell you these are the rules. The person comes up with different ways to manipulate ways. you, to make you fit into a box, to subdue, sub, you, subdue somehow. you, subjugate you, and mm -hmm. relegate you one side. You get it. It happens. Women use it. Men use it. Now, one thing is sure that. But most victims are women. Not really. Most victims the ones are you women have known are the ones you have known are women. I have seen at least two men who are in that shoes that their wives emotionally Maybe abuse. Two out of ten. ten. Yes, I have seen, yes, I but it's more. rare. It's rare. So one thing is this: you must be able to identify that. I am in this problem. But the time you see yourself that you are not in charge of anything in the house, assuming you are a wife mm. or you are a, a husband, mm. you are not in charge. You don't take decision. You don't have decision. Everything has to come from one source. You have to wait for a, one. A glorified house girl. A, a, yes. You have to wait for one person to decide, no matter how it is. You find yourself in that position. Number two, you can't do what you think that is right for you to do, or less what he or she tells you, you to get do. Validation from the is, you must get validation. That's the right word. In everything you do, you must get validation. And even while you are doing it, you can never please the person you are doing it for. Your, you are, you are, your mind is always hanging. You don't have that peace of mind. You don't even like going home anymore. The person is not yelling on you. He's not shouting on you. The person is not beating you. But technically, you are draining. What you are passing through is weighing you down. What you need to do is that you have seen yourself in that situation. It's done on you that I'm being emotionally abused. What you need to do now is that you must take a step by talking to someone. You must open up. It might be an opportunity you respect. I do not know your age. I don't know what you are. But I would advise that when you are in such position, talk to a counselor. If you look at your pastor, like... I, I, I keep telling people that if you see your pastor that you think your pastor does not have another job that he or she is doing, mm. it's just that pastoring or ministering, per se, you can look X well. Because this takes a whole lot to do. Look for a professional, a trained, a certified counselor or a psychiatrist and talk to the person and you can have at least at least um, a relief for that moment because the more you open up the better you feel within yourself and i also advise the person to always be with a phone to communicate in case because you might be in a situation where you will need help urgent help so you can quickly be able to reach out to someone who can assist you. Don't 
bottle yourself in that situation. You must seek for help. In some situation, if you think that is enough for you to be, you can take a walk, you can take a bow for some time. I am not encouraging people to live the energy so you get it. I get it. It depends on what you want to. If you think that that marriage is better for you to stay there and die, I wish you well. It's, it's not difficult to use the keyboard to write rest in peace. Okay? And if you think that life first, that when you are fine, you can be able to think of any other thing tomorrow, then you can now have what and what to say. Because I believe that when you have seen a certified Socratics, you can be able to have a way forward. That is, if they want to go and visit a psychiatrist or, How many people are or, or a counselor. They are trained counselors. Yeah. We are, okay, are the question could be now, where can I are, find... There are, are psychologists that you can talk to. The question now can be, where can, somebody might be watching now, asking, so where, where I can I find you? this? Please, look for any NGO around you. You can reach out to me. Look for any NGO around you. We work in networks. Who does not render that services can, can always, always link you, link you up, up to where you can get the necessary attention that you deserve. And there are hospitals where you can uh, assess such help. You know, psychiatrists. You, you know, people think that Uselu is basically for those who pick things from the dust bill. Mm -hmm. It is not <laughs> so. you mean by the psychiatric hospital, the neuropsychiatric hospital? In your, yes. I used to say, we all know, I, you understand? And not everybody, everybody in the world. Because everybody yes, the they world normally think you. that it's for those who are insane that mm -hmm. goes there. They don't need that. Every human person, from in one point or the other, needs a psychiatrist to evaluate you, to tell you the state of your mental health. And you can be able to put yourself back together and be whom you are before you... You, you go gaga it. before you lose it because depression is real mm. it's not far from us mm. it's just little thing can just mm. and you find yourself in that situation and the number one symptom is you not being happy about yourself not being happy with what you do before you know it a lot of things you begin to reason a, lot, a whole lot of things is either you begin to overreact to issues or you begin to underreact. You get it. When you some persons, when they are here, they can be here like till next tomorrow. They won't talk. They will just be dumb. Essence of everything is too bad. Try it as much as possible to pay attention to your mental health. And to those who also perpetrate this evil, this abuse, look, the VAP law is there. That's why we keep asking for the passing of this gender bill because it's going to give us an edge in the society. It's going to reduce or, um, may I say, um, do away with the patriarchal nature of society structure that we find ourselves. It, it will put us in a position that everybody will begin to see ourselves at the same level. If someone abuses you, please reach out for help. You will get justice. The VAP law is there to be implemented in full you will get the justice you want. If only the woman will speak out. But like, what are those things that you think usually inhibits a woman from speaking out when she is facing abuse, whether emotional, whether verbal, or even financial abuse in a relationship? What are those things that usually hold, hold the, the woman's woman back? back? Because there is this invisible force or forces yeah. that holds women, particularly women, that holds women back. Shame. From 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 talking. Shame. And what kind of shame? A lot of women are ashamed that uh, if they should discuss their issue out, <laughs> they will be laughed at. At the end of the unfortunately. day, unfortunately, that is the problem. And a lot of them don't want to speak out. They don't want to tell anybody, and they they, be, they believe that things will get better. Things will get better. Mm -hmm. Things will get better <laughs> until the last minute. You understand? It will still get better. That is the issue because they feel that if I should tell this person, may, she may laugh at me after now. You understand? Yeah. She may laugh at me after now. So because of that, let me keep it to myself. So the fear of stigmatization Stations is wahala. wahala. Now, that yeah. is the problem. And another, they didn't know that when you speak out, 
the problem is already half solved. Because most, I, I can give you an instance of a woman. Her husband usually beats her up every time, every now and then. But the moment this woman take a step, reported the issue to her boss, I mean, to the man boss. Still, I can boldly tell you, from that moment till now, it's going to about eight months now. The man is having some bleeds at home. The man is then the man stop beating this woman. Because first of all, in his working place, they have to give him a, a level of, is it reduction in salary or something like a punishment? So because of that, he don't want that to happen. Or he don't want the boss to know that. Do, do, does the woman even have to go that far? No, because okay. it's getting too much. When it's getting too much, she needs to speak out. Okay, now, look at it. Since then, till now, the man stop beating. Then there's, there's, there's a plus. There's, there's, there's a, a, ref, I mean, a relief on that woman. Even the woman usually say, ah, my husband is not a nice person now. My husband is not a good person. He doesn't beat me anymore and all of that. Because it's getting too much. When you emotionally abuse the woman, you beat the woman out to the extent of even broke the woman's car and all of that. You tore her clothes and all of that. So it, you push the woman to the world. So the woman doesn't have anything to do anymore than just to report you to so, that somebody that you respect most. You understand? That is the speaker we are talking the about. The woman is even lucky okay. that the man has somebody he respects. Yes, we had, a, we had a case at hand where the woman was suffering so much. She couldn't go anywhere. Even coming to me was like, please, oh, let it just be between you and I. I said, okay, let's talk to this man. Say, no, let's not talk to him. So mm. how do you not want us to help you? You don't want us to bring the man to book. You don't want us to talk to the man. You don't want us to invite the man. Currently, as we speak, a young lady is, is going through a lot. Mm -hmm. Why? She met somebody who says, I love you, I want to get married to you. She said, fine. The man said, okay, you need to get pregnant first before marry. Because my friend said his wife got pregnant first, so you must get pregnant first before mm -hmm. marriage. She came to me that period and I said, I cannot decide that for you. It is your life. Do what you think mm -hmm. will make you happy. Well, somehow along the line, she got pregnant. Guess what? Did they marry her? The man said, uh, his friend again, I don't know who this devil's advocate is, hmm. that his friend again said, well, he wanted to be sure that she was fertile. Hmm. And so uh, she should uh, do away with the pregnancy. Can you imagine? And you think that's not emotional Imagine enough? That, yeah, of course. Now, the lady said she's not going to do that. Guess what the young man did? He blocked her line. She Can cannot you? reach him on the phone. Can you imagine? And when you try to call him, the moment you t bring that topic up, he blocks you. Hmm. You know, hmm. so women go through Be a lot. lot. Yet she, she does not she, want the man. She does not want to give the address of the man. She does not want to want people to know where the man is. She does not want anything. She just say, ah, eh, people, we, people, why do we you care about what, what people, people will say? say? Because, like I said earlier, we live, we find ourselves in a patriarchal society structure where they see um, subordination as a virtue mm. that when you are a woman you, you are expected you must be you must be respectful yeah. submissive mm. you must be respectful he did not say you should be he did not say you should be you should be subservient be respectful they does they does all to us mm. they see that as a virtue. So what's the way for when you now? How, do we, how do we cure a woman who is suffering from emotional abuse? In just a minute, Doris. You cannot force an adult to do something, but okay. you can only advise. Okay. I advise all women out there to speak up. It must not necessarily be your pastor. But when you are ready, make up your mind first. That is the main thing. Decide, are you ready to get out of this bottle okay. that you have found yourself? Okay. Number two, try as much as possible to build that boldness. Okay. To say, I don't care. Enough to give enough. deaf ears to what the society will say. say. 
what matters is your life. Okay, so it but is like, you that have seen something now that made you decide. That be happy. Make yourself happy. Mm. It's what make you happy. Listen to music that make you happy. Yes. Go to places that will, you know, those people that will make you happy. Mm. Don't go to those places that people will, will start demoralize, demoralize you, you telling you things okay. that will make you to go down. Try to make yourself happy. All right. The bottom line of these ladies out there is for you to speak up. If you speak up, you will get help. Not necessarily to your pastors, for goodness sake. There are certified counselors, certified psychiatrists, certified uh, uh, psychologists that can talk to you and you will be healed. Is there a ministry of women affairs where you stay? Mm. Go there, seek for help, and you will find one. We will see you again, okay, next week. All right, ladies, thank you once again thank for, you for finding time us. to be with us. And we're hoping that women will speak up to save themselves. And women should stop victimizing women. My gender, my gender. Mm. Because <laughs>